Football for me is everything. It gives me the power to be myself. Give me something else to work towards and something to let off steam when I got home from school. When I was 12, life kind of changed forever. My mum had a stroke. Mine sitting on the floor, I asked my dad, what, what is a stroke? And he told me, and he told me my mum couldn't speak. And we had no idea what the outcome was. I remember breaking down in tears after he told me. Not knowing if my mum would ever say hello to me again was very damaging to me. Me and my older sister were very, very much caretakers of my siblings at that point. At the age of 12, cleaning, doing the washing up, stuff I never thought I would be doing at that age. That had a massive impact on, on my friendships with school. I just didn't connect with them as well as I could. I was losing friends because of me not being able to go out and to play with them. But family, to me, was everything. Didn't feel anybody really understood what I was going through. It was a real struggle. I didn't want to speak about it. I remember sitting at lunch and break by myself um, because I couldn't connect with my friends as what I did before. Two years after my mum had her stroke, I was just battering on with everything. I was away to sit my exams at school and I had bottled everything up of my emotions for two years. And the lowest point in my life was when that exploded. I stopped eating, I stopped drinking, I stopped going to school. I didn't want to be here anymore. I had no idea why I was feeling this way, what I was really feeling. I just didn't want to be with anybody. I said I was fine, was all I said constantly to everybody. I'm fine, when I really, I wasn't. It was a struggle, a real struggle. I didn't want to admit I was ill. Until that day, I didn't want to be here anymore. And suicidal thoughts started coming to my head. I knew I had to do something to get myself better. Football at that time was the only thing I wanted to do. It was the only reason I got to bed in the morning, knowing that I had football training at night or coaching. It was my way of getting away of everything. It was my way of getting out of the house and getting back to the way I was before my mum had a stroke. It just allowed me to be me. It gave me the power to push on and to progress within football. And on the nights I didn't, I would go watch my brother at his training, my sister go training. I didn't have any other thoughts in my head apart from football when I was at football. And the feeling that it gave me was amazing. I'm the only female referee within this area and I referee week in, week out to be in charge of 22 males on the pitch. It, six months after I qualified was one of the most daunting experiences I've ever had, but by far the best. And to this day, I'm still doing amateur football. I stopped at the age of 16 playing for a team to focus on refereeing. My granddad was a football referee, he's 71, and still does the educational game now. He comes to support me every game I go to. If he can, he's always at pitch side watching me and give me advice and we'll chat about my games at the weekends when I see him on Sundays. And it's a very much a, a bond for me and him, seeing him and how old he is and how he's still refereeing. I want to do that, that's the sort of path I want to take. It's been a challenge, but I wouldn't change who I am. I wouldn't change having five other brothers and sisters to look after and having to cook and clean at the age of 12. It's made me the person I am sitting here right now and it's given me the courage and the power to put my mind to it and I'll go do it. Nothing stops me. If football wasn't here, I wouldn't be sitting here today. I had my football boots on and my football kit on, I had a ball at my feet and I was the happiest 14, 15 year old that was, that was going. I know and I've said from the whole situation, football has really saved my life.